that too for you, Richard. Here it is time for a tips, tricks, and whoopsies video. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Um, so, what we're doing today with this tips, tricks, and whoopsies video is I'm getting my hot glue gun off the table because it's leaking everywhere. And you get little hot glue balls everywhere. And it sucks because I want to reuse these daggum things, which you can. You can reuse them. You take them, put them wherever you want them, and then touch them with the metal tip of your hot glue gun, and it melts them everywhere. Just not as precise and clean as, yeah. So anyway, um, tips, tricks, and whoopsies video today. I am going to show you some cool uses for some fun stuff. Now, this isn't mine. I didn't do, figure this out on my own. I actually saw it from somewhere else. And uh, um, DM Scotty does this a lot. Dude, if you haven't checked his channel out... Please, please, please do. That man is super cool. Goofy guy. I love it. He's, his intros and stuff is, are done like 80s retro style. It's, just, it's really cool. Well, in, in my opinion, I see 80s retro. I'm, it's, it's just awesome. But he does uh, really cool stuff. Super crafty stuff. He even has a Facebook page. Uh, DM Scotty's Craft page. I can't remember. I'll leave a link to it in the description below as well as a link to his, pay, his channel as well. But he does all kinds of cool, like, craft stuff with, like, cheaper crafts. Just making things for D&D &D terrain, sci-fi terrain. Not, like, terrain, per se. He's a he's a big role player. So he'll do, like, tiles. He has his, he calls them the isometric tilescapes. And that is pretty much, um, sorry. Do like, 50 things at once at the same time. This light doesn't hold a charge very well. It's a good, cheap light, but the charge value is crap factor um but yeah he does all kinds of stuff for that tiles um which is where i got my idea for my for my black foam tiles for my spaceship later uh, i did cut a strip to use this is for my spaceship but i cut a strip to use for uh frost and fist little uh competition that they're holding i didn't want to but i figured i needed something for some embellishments and I know I'm going to have scrap left over, so now I'm just going to have a little less scrap of that left over. So, um, today we're going to do something, which is a cool little uh, kind of filler, kind of finisher product, project. And we're going to use this stuff right here. Pencil shavings. I've seen DM Scotty do this so many times, and it's just really cool. I like the way he does it and the idea of it, um, so I want to I wanted to do it myself. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this table down situation set up and kind of show you what we do. I'll flick a picture of everything you need. Like I'll cut it and edit it in the middle of this so you can kind of see what you need to start. Pretty self-explanatory. But um, I'll pop that on there, show you what you need, and then we'll go back to this. So give me All a right, second. guys, here we are, table down. Now first things first, I'm gonna take and lose my Elmer's glue. go we got an inner so I'll get some in there and I'm gonna put just a glob in the bottom of this there we go probably more than I need actually but oh well yeah it's quite a bit and then we're gonna do some water I didn't put water on that screen but water helps kind of thin this around and mix it up a little bit better just enough to kind of give you a good liquidy paste and then paint now I picked this brighter green just because it's easier to see on the camera. You can do a darker green and dry brush up from there, which is another thing I'll show. Um, like I'll use this green here. Oops, let's not do it upside down, shall we? This green here and I'll dry brush up from this. So now you take a pinch of your shavings and mix them up in there. Let will just do a little bit more. And then you'll stir, you know, I'll use that crappy paintbrush I had and you'll just stir this all around and mix it up really good and again I picked another bigger container than I really wanted if you feel like it's too thick and too gloopy just add a little bit more water I'm gonna kind of do this real quick off camera so just kind of pay attention to that nice green board real quick la 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 I am singing here's a singing singing for you today where is the stuff I need a little bit more paint. Now just do everything to your taste, you know? How you, how you, to your taste. You're gonna eat this afterwards, guys, I'm telling you. 
It's delicious. It's gonna be it's good. It's gonna be go right into your tum yummy 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 tummies. So there we go. Still a bit greener than my test subject, like brighter green. <laughs> Weird. Probably had a lot more glue in it than before, so the glue kind of turned it white a little bit or lightened it up a lot. But anyway, then you're gonna end up with something like this. This goopy gloopy mess. So then what you would do is you would take your terrain piece. So we're using this. I'm going to put a little bit on here. And you take your little paintbrush and you scoop some out. No matter, like, depends on what you want. You know, I'm going to do a glob like this. And I'm just going to kind of put it on there. And I'm going to mash it in. Kind of let some of the stuff go kind of free flowing. And just kind of fill it into spots. I was talking about how crappy that light was earlier and now I need it. Yeah, so then you tuck all that stuff in the spots, let some of it come up, let some of it hang free, so you got like free flowing little pieces of grass. And that kind of hangs there. I'll do just a little bit more, do a little smaller batch, like about that much, and tuck it up in this little crevice right here. Well, let's get it off the brush first. And I smear green paint everywhere. There's the whoopsie part. See, I think that's good right there, and then maybe like one little piece kind of off in here. A little smaller one. Now you can do this with a tweezers, a pair of tweezers, if you had a, a set you didn't really care for or care about. Yeah, see, that's a bit much. I'm going to try that. Let me try that with my little weird tweezers over here. There they are. So pinch it. And that way I can use this brush knock off some and get a little bit less there we go so I take the tweezers and just kind of glop it up in there and then smush it down I like tuck it down in the crevices as much as you can so it gonna gets a good foothold because as that dries it's gonna harden on there a little bit better and seal um now I did earlier like you're gonna sit there and let this dry really good and you just add a little bit of greenery in there. Now, earlier I did this. You can see that. This little piece here. And that's dry. It's actually quite hard. I mean, still a little flimsy, but it's it's, it's hard. It's, it's actually sealed on there pretty good. Just put a little piece off in there. And I dry brushed all that with just a lighter, that lighter shade of green. Did you see my light dim right there? Um, but yeah, so that's what you would do on this. I mean, simple, quick, easy little thing. And all that using pencil shavings and gives you just a little bit more color, effect, or anything to your to what you're doing. You could potentially, too, I'm not going to do it to this piece, but say you have, here's a little piece of scrap. Here, I got a, here's a, here's a scrap piece of a cork board. So say you mush that on there, but this was a wall. So then you could bring this up because it's got the glue and the stickiness on there and you can create like a creeping moss effect up the wall. Do it a little less goopy than what I have and it'll work a little bit better and it'll stick a little bit more because you'll have more glue to grab a hold of things. But yeah, you can pull this up the wall more and it looks like a, a moss. It looks like a, after a good rain, you know, if you ever look like in the gutters and stuff, yeah, see, so then you have that. Kind of holds up on the wall. You'd let that dry. And that'd be this creeping moss up a wall. You do this different colors. And like I said, after a rain, if you look at the gutters, you see how that kind of, the dead grass and the waste and the water, waste, the poo-poo, no. The leaves and stuff have kind of been pushed up. The water kind of goes away and it leaves that little mounds and piles of rubbish or whatnot. You can do something similar with that. But yeah, guys, I hope you liked this. I enjoyed uh, my little tip tricks and whoopsies. Again, like I said, I got this from DM Scotty. Go check him out. He has tons of stuff. Tons of ideas and tons of things. I don't want to take this from him and, and say it was mine because it's definitely not. I got this from him. I just want to share it with my buddies on here. So, like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all. I thank you so much for stopping by. Keep rocking that nerd life, my friends. Later. Bye.